Hey everyone, it's Shaq here, and when the iPhone 6 and 6S, I mean, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus came out, we were hit hard with the Ben Gate scandal, which was pretty bad for Apple, and they never really, you know, issued a recall or tried to fix it, they just fixed it in the 6S. And unfortunately, now with the 6S, we have the Chipgate scandal, which kind of sucks. So in order to release the phone earlier, you know, try to get enough phones built really fast, you know, to release to you guys on the release day, even though we still got sold out on the first day, you know, Apple really tried to get as many phones sold, you know, made for us as possible. And in doing that, they hired two different companies to make their a9 chip, the Apple A9 chip, which is in the iPhone success, to build this chip, they hired two companies. One of which was Samsung, and the other one is a company named TSMC. So those are two companies that built the iPhone A9 chip, the Apple A9 chip. And Samsung made a smaller chip while TSMC made a, a slightly larger chip, and they, you know, they measure them in NM, I'm not exactly sure what that stands for, but the TSMC chip was 16 NMs, and the Samsung chip was 14 NMs, so, I mean, it's just a little, really little difference, doesn't really make a difference in the phone at all, but unfortunately, the Samsung chip performs worse than the TSMC chip. And so you're probably thinking right now, holy shit, what fucking chip do I have in my phone? So the best way and the easiest way to check which chip you guys have is to download this app called Lyrum uh, Device Info Lite. Now, the app costs $2.99, but if you get the Lite version, then it's free. So you don't have to buy the whole version. All you want to see is which chip you have. You can just buy the light version, it'll say L-I-T, light, on top of it, just like this app right here. So, just buy that version and you're good to go, it's free, so don't worry about it. So that's what, uh, you yeah, know, that's how you can tell. If, when you open it up, as you can see on my phone right now, it says model N71MAP. If it says MAP, then you're good. That means that the chip inside your phone is from TSMC. However, if your phone says model N71AP, then you're fucked. You should probably return your iPhone right now, if it's not 14 days already. So, because that means you have a Samsung chip, and nobody wants a Samsung chip. Nobody at all. So, because the Samsung chip is not only less faster, but uh, it's just Samsung. Who the fuck wants a Samsung chip in their iPhone? You know what I'm saying? So, the Apple A9 chip... No, it's kind of fucked up right now. So, according to Apple and uh, according to some other sources, the battery is, there's a difference between two or three battery percentage between the chips. However, it's really hard to tell anything about battery life because every, you know, lithium ion battery is different. You know, some battery can last for seven days. Some can last for only, you know, six days. It all depends on, you know, your battery, you know, everything's special to your battery. You know, it's very specific. So I can't really, you know, the battery test, 2 or 3% difference, it doesn't make a difference at all. One thing that is unknown is how many of each chip is out there. Because we really don't know how many chips were made by Samsung and how many chips were made by Apple. I mean, by uh, TSMC. So... That is something we don't know yet, but to check your chip, all you gotta do is download Lyrum, that's L-I-R-U-M, device info, uh, light. So here's the, uh, you know, the iTunes page for it. Like I said, it's free. Uh, if you get the free version, obviously, the light version is free. If you get the paid version, obviously, it costs $2, no, $2.99, so $3. So don't buy the paid version. Just buy the free one, and you're good to go. Apple also said that it's not a noticeable difference. So, the difference between the quality is so little that you can't tell. 
Like, if you're using Facebook, you're using Instagram, by the way, follow me on fucking Instagram and Twitter. Uh, my Instagram is at it's Insta. Uh, there's a link in the description below. And my Twitter is at Shaq's Tweets. So go follow me on those two, just so you know. And hit the subscribe button while you're at it. I mean, while you're pausing this video. But, um, like I said, the A9 chip is fucked up right, as of right now. I don't think Apple's gonna fix it because even when the band gate came out, that was a fucking serious issue. Like, the phones were bending, and that is, you know, the metal was not, they weren't constructed properly. And Apple didn't care enough to fix them, so I personally don't think that Apple's gonna care about this either because this is something that doesn't make a difference. Now, you barely can tell the difference between the Samsung chip and the TSMC chip. So, if you ask my, my personal opinion, I think we should just, you know, if you have the Samsung chip and it really makes a difference for you, go ahead and get another phone. But if it doesn't, then really there's no difference. It's not worth, you know, there's no difference in the quality of the phone at all. You know, they both run as fast. Even if you're playing hardcore games, you will not feel any kind of difference between the two phones. As far as battery life goes, it's 2 or 3%, so really doesn't make a difference at all. You know, your battery could be 2 or 3%, you know, uh, worse or something like that. Like, your battery could just be old, you, know, you and you'd be fine. So, really, there's nothing to worry about. But, obviously, if it's news, Apple's one of the biggest companies. So, obviously, they're going to, you know, try to make a big deal out of anything that comes across their way. So, don't worry about it. I don't think Apple's going to fix it, but... Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And also, in the comment section below, let me know what kind of phone you have and what do you think about it. Do you think it's a bad idea? Do you think, do you think Apple should recall the phones? You know, let me know what you think. I personally, I'm lucky I have the, you know, the TSMC chip. Um, but honestly, I don't think there's a difference. And, I mean, according to some uh, beach geek, geek bench reviews, you know, and tests, there's barely any difference. It's extremely not noticeable, especially most people, most iPhone users aren't even going to be using it to the point where, you know, they need to max out the power. So, let me know what you have, and like this video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, fucking follow me everywhere. I see Twitter and Instagram, there you go. And, obviously, if you know anyone with an iPhone 6S, share this video, let them know what they're, you know, let them know what they're using. Nothing wrong with it. If you have an Android, and you want to piss someone off with an iPhone, go ahead and share this video. And, one more thing, if you do have an Android, feel free to watch this video right here. This Samsung uh, sucks, because I feel like you would like it. But, uh, if you want to piss someone off with an iPhone, go ahead and send this video to them. I don't really care. Personally, I love iPhone, and uh, I don't think it fucking makes a difference. Like I said, if you look at the Geekbench scores, they're about the same thing. So, hit that like button, and subscribe, and share this video.